Quickly, everyone! Get your asses here! Hey! And loose! Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um... I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Halt! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Sir Antic. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It wasn't. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. I could use an extra pair of eyes. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yesterday. Of course I'll help. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid! And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. What's up, YouTube? Alien Orox here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We're going to be closing out the prologue of the game. Uh, I'll keep it short and sweet, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. We may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. 
That's the bastard who led the attack at Scalis and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that the Razzi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzi Kobila is not here and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. Good health, you. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Never mind. Take care, now. Good day to you. What do you need? I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. 
Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in a shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I'll let him go. That's obvious. All right. I'll have a look around for something. May the Lord watch over you. I need to get out of here. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah, I see. All right then. But if you breathe a word about me to anyone. Farewell. Yeah. me here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. It's like they've already gone.
You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Go! Yeah! Sweet Jesus, it's the charcoal burner. Hey! No, easy thing. Don't kill me. I have nothing. Why did anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? Well now, this one's come pouring out from under some... Yeah. Oh. 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 He didn't run like me. He died with a sword in his hand. Used to buy a sign who did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. Didn't abandon me, like me. Oh no, no, no. Why? Not you. 
It wasn't supposed to be you, Bianca. Just wait a moment. I'll take care of my parents, and then I'll come back for you. I won't leave you like this. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. The one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and I'll take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! What's going on? Bishak, what in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that mutt the butcher's... Um, mutt? And isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave, and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? Fine. I'll take the spade, and you can have the sword. You can have it right up your ass. You think you can talk that way just because you've got a sword? Bullshit. I don't know much about sword fighting. Suits me. I'll knock your teeth in then. Ah! 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 
Let's get to it. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Spishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needed it. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt! Aye! Cut the bastard down! As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. 
I'm just a common kid. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> the games are...